Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is Reverend Prophet Samuel Leslie, the African prophet, reaching out to you on Illumina. This is the second episode on why 2022 is strategic in God's agenda for Cameroon. And again with me on the platform, I have Reverend Esther Ebanga on my left. Welcome, woman of God. Merci de m'avoir invité une fois de plus. Bonsoir et bonsoir à vous qui me suivez. Hallelujah. And on my right, we have Prophet Wisdom, Lord's Powers. Welcome, man of God. Thank you so very much. I'm so pleased again to be in this awesome platform. And by the grace of God, welcome everyone. It's going to be a great time, I believe, as well. Hallelujah. Wherever you're watching us, please find a time to just pray meditatively in your heart as we speak in other tongues. We invite the Holy Spirit to take over this atmosphere, to take over our hearts, to take over the houses, the office, the car, the room, the living room, wherever you are in the kitchen, wherever you are watching us, wherever you are hearing us, in the name of the Lord Jesus, the presence of the Lord comes upon you to shield you, to give you understanding, wisdom in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Please, I invite you to share the broadcast. Tell many people we are live. Let them be connected to know what God is saying for 2022 in Cameroon and what's God's agenda in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Amen. So welcome again, once again. In the last episode, we were talking about, uh, you asked a, a question about... De pourquoi est-ce que l'année 2022 était yes. stratégique pour le Cameroon? Amen. And uh, that, to that question, we had a powerful answer. And I said that to understand why 2022 is strategic for Cameroon is to zoom in on the number 40. Because 40 would be the number that would interpret what God is doing behind the scenes mm. in the destiny of Cameroon. And I said 40 years would be would mark exactly the time when His Excellency Paul Bia came into power from November 6, 1982 to 2022. is exactly 40 exactly years. 40. And 40 in scripture symbolizes many things. Definitely. And whenever you see 40 in scripture, it symbolizes judgment. Really? It symbolizes a paradigm shift. Really? It symbolizes a new beginning. A yes, a nouveau commencement. Really? And when you see something in scripture for the first time, mm. by the law of first mention, that definition sets the foundation for how that particular thing will be interpreted throughout scripture the first time the number 40 appears in scripture is at the flood of noah and the flood of noah lasted for 40 days and it was a judgment on the wickedness of the wicked in noah's time you see and i said that in this season god 2022 god is bringing judgment on the wickedness of the wicked mm -hmm. in the land of Cameroon, mm -hmm. we are going to see a brutal removal mm -hmm. of men and women mm -hmm. that have helped the nation to go in the wrong direction mm -hmm. with corruption. They've spoiled the nation, mm -hmm. they've sponsored wars, those behind the killings, mm -hmm. those behind the wars, mm -hmm. those behind the, the uh, you know, the reason why certain things are not working in the nation. Mm -hmm. corruption. corruption, all of that judgment is coming. In 40 days, Nineveh was overthrown. When God sent Jonah to cry against the city, he said, 40 days, yet in 40 days, Nineveh shall be overthrown. So 40 stands for judgment. In Ezekiel chapter 4 verse 6, God told Ezekiel to lay on one side as a symbol that he was going to judge the iniquity of Judah. So whenever you see 40, it also stands for judgment in scriptures. Remember when God went to judge Sodom and Gomorrah, and uh, uh, Abraham stood in his way to intercede for the land. And what did he say? He said, if you find 40, 40 would you spare the land? And God said, no, they are not up to 40 people. So you see, 40 comes around judgment. Now in Genesis chapter 15, and which is connected to Cameroon, in Genesis chapter 15, God told Abraham, in the fourth generation, your descendants shall possess the land. For the cup of the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. Oui, oui. La coupe d'iniquité. Yes. Donc Dieu attendait que la coupe d'iniquité de soit ceux plein. qui soient pleins. Oui. Oui. Et af, après cela, les descendants d'Abraham, quatrième génération, vont oui. posséder le pays. 
la Bible nous fait comprendre que nous sommes la sémence d'Abraham. We are the seed of Abraham. We are the seed of Abraham. And what God has done before, he can do it again. So, it took exactly 40 years in the wilderness for that cup of the Amorites to be full. That is one of the reasons Israel went around for 40 years. God was waiting for the cup to be full. And so it took 40 years for that cup to be full. So when the cup was full, then Israel arrived where they could possess the land. And I said something in our last episode that when the African Nations Cup came to Cameroon this year, it marked exactly 40 years from when His Excellency Paul Beyer took power. Yes. So when he took power till this 2022 is 40 years. And so I saw during the opening ceremony they, 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 they brought a very huge uh, cup. Yes. Right. yes. Right. And when they placed that cup at the center of the Olympic Stadium and people were happy, you know, the can has come, the African Nations Cup has come to Cameroon. God told me, look at that cup. The cup of the iniquity is full. The cup of the iniquity of this nation is full. Enough of the wickedness. Mm. The cup is full. Mm. It's time. It's 40 years. It's time. The cup of the Amorites is full. Now, from the time of Papa Obake, the founding fathers of the, of the gospel in this land, which is the seed of Abraham, the church is the seed of Abraham. You see? So, from Papa Obake, Papa Ndale, and all those founding fathers, you see, first generation. the first generation. Yeah. Now we have the second generation that came up. The Papa Zakfomum, Papa Sevikamka, Papa Nestor, and all those fathers. Yeah. Then after them, we have the third generation. Yeah. We have people like Bishop Chris, uh, the Daddy Chambo of Blessed Memory, Bishop Angela Chamofo, Bishop mm-hmm. Joshua Gogomu, Papa Ondua, Papa Vandu. Okay. You see, that is the third generation. That's and there are many others which I, I may not know. But after them, we now have us. We are the fourth generation. So this fourth generation coincides with the 40 years. Because God told Abraham, the fourth generation shall possess the land. You see, the scripture is right on the screen. They shall possess the land. Because the cup was not yet full. And it took 40 years. Il a pris 40 ans. So you see, 40 years coinciding with the cop coming to Cameroon okay. and the fourth generation of the gospel in Cameroon. So this is a clear sign that something is happening in Cameroon at this time. God's judgment is going to come down speedily and swift. All the politicians watching this message, if you are in government, if you are in power, if you have a place of influence and you have used your position to oppress the poor, Mm. to oppress the widows, to oppress the orphans, repent, repent, repent. If you are using your position to, to, to crush people, the poor, to crush the poor, to oppress people, please repent. Because judgment is coming on the wickedness of the wicked. 40 is the number of judgment. And it's also the number of paradigm shift. Changement de paradigme. Yeah. Changement de paradigme. Yeah. Yeah. You, you talk a little on that one to get it. If you can get into that again, Papa, it will be very important for, for okay. the viewers. Now, you see, when the flood yeah. of Noah came, it lasted 40 days. Oui. That's right. Then the Bible says the waters <coughs> subsided. Oui. And the Bible gives us the day and the date. Hallelujah. The Bible says it was in the first day of the tenth month, mm-hmm. Le premier jour du dixième mm-hmm. mois. which is the first of October. Uh, uh, and the Bible says in the first day of the tenth month, the waters subsided. Then the ark rested on the top of the mountain. Hallelujah. Which city in Cameroon has a mountain? Boya, Mount Fako. Mount Fako. So, Mount Cameroon is in the southwest. And the Bible says on the 1st of October, 
It's a strategic for date the for the northwest. southwest and northwest. Mm. Because we know what happened in 1961. Yes. First, first of October, October 1961. 1961. Every first October within this year has not been easy. It has not been easy. Mm. So, in the 40th day, the water subsided. And the ark, the ark, which is a picture of the church, rested on top of the mountain. Now, I'll talk about this in the next episode. This is, this is deep. It's very deep. Very serious. Very serious. My curiosity is already there. Yes. So, we, we, we will look at that in the in the in the next in the next episode yes, yes. but every time you see 40 there's going to be a shift of paradigm things are going to shift things are going to change god takes out the old and brings in the new when you see 40. Yes. goliath challenged israel oppressed israel for 40 days yes. in the 40th day god raised david hallelujah and when david came he took goliath out is that prophetically saying that in this season God will be raising some Davids? There will be some Davids that will be coming. Amen. God is raising some Davids. Mm. You see, the mm. judges, the judges reigned over Israel because there was no king. Mm. And because there was no king, they reigned for 40 years. Mm. All the judges, Othniel, Gideon, Samson, Chacun Deborah. No, all okay. of... Tous ensemble, ça construit, ils ont reigné 40 ans. Et après, Dieu a amené le premier roi d'Israël, Saül, oui. qui a régné 40 ans. Il est sorti. Oui. David, deuxième roi, 40 ans. Il est sorti. Troisième roi, Salomon, 40 ans. Il est sorti. Donc, quand il y a 40 ans, il y a changement de paradigme. Ah. That is why we know that this year, something must happen to the government of His Excellency Paul Béa. J'ai une question à poser. Yes. Est-ce que c'est la raison pour laquelle on dit que le Cameroun est la Jérusalem de l'Afrique Parce que tout ceci, ça s'est passé en Israël. Et maintenant, nous sommes au Cameroun. Donc, c'est yes. pour simple. C'est pour dire que Dieu a un plan spécifique et spécial pour le Cameroun. Yes, of oui. course. I've always said it, and I'll continue to say it, oui. that Cameroun is the spiritual Jerusalem Alleluia. of Africa. Alleluia. It is the land of glory land of promise mm. the only nation that was talked about the promised land was israel That's right. in That's scripture right. That's right. so we are a type of israel right. in africa yes correct because the hymn national says we are not Mais uh, la version anglo anglaise, c'est okay. là où elle parle de terre de land of promise, land of glory. Land of glory. Yes. Ils comprennent un peu pourquoi. Ok, là c'est ce que je voulais dire. And, and that also please, sorry, sir. Yes. That also reminds us of a very important scripture in Isaiah 19:19 that talks of the midst of Africa, the Lord is raising an altar. Mm. So that is. is what scripture is that? Isaiah 19:19. Isaiah 19:19. Isaiah 19:19. And yes. we are looking at we are looking at Cameroon on the map. We've seen Cameroon at the center, not only at Africa, but at, I mean the center of the world. Yes. Highly strategically positioned, and so much is happening in this season in Cameroon in connection with God's way of working with Israel. Yes. Yes. This is really deep. <coughs> it's very deep. But you, but sir, you were talking in the last episode concerning the new generation, the, 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 the fourth generation that is coming now prepared to occupy yes. and to penetrate. Um, now let me say this: the, there's going to be a paradigm shift that's right. because that's what forty stands for. Yeah. There must be a taking out of the old and a bringing in of, of the, the new. new. Really? That's right. God had vowed that the generation that came out of Egypt, because of their hardness of heart, mm. they will not enter the promised land, really? the land of glory, the land of promise. Mm -hmm. And you see, Exodus means to come out. And Exodus has 40 chapters. Exactly. Yes, yes. Exodus has 40 chapters. Exodus has 40 chapters. Huh? Yes, 40 chapters. So, Exodus means to come out. So, when they came out, they spent 40 years oui, oui. in the wilderness. And all those that left Egypt had to die Down the desert, in the, the, yes within except, 40 years within 40 years except joshua and caleb, and caleb. now when 
they got to close to the promised land, Moses had sent uh, 12 spies. Mm. 12 stands for government. Mm. Exactly. 12 stands for government. 12 mm. stands for uh, foundation. Mm. You understand? So they went and spied the land for 40 days. Mm. Only two brought a good report. Mm. Ten did not. Mm. Huh? Ten is the tithe, which is the death portion. The mm-hmm. death portion. Mm-hmm. That's what the tithe stands for. Yeah, la portion de la mort. Yeah, mm-hmm. mort. Okay. Mm-hmm. So God said, because of the bad report of the ten, they were going to wander for forty years till the last person died. Mm-hmm. And the last person died in the fortieth year, which was Aaron. Aaron. The Bible says that Aaron died in the fortieth year. Down three in the wilderness. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, in the promised land, he died on the 40th year. And that's how we knew we know that in the 40th year something must happen. Hallelujah. Something must happen in this nation. And I've, I've said it time and time again that we have to pray for the throne. The throne of the country, the throne of the land of Cameroon. Yes. Because what happens after that? Is what is very 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 important. What is what is even more? I mean, uh, it's, it's more serious than that. Yes. For for some time that I mean, for some years now, you have been given some serious words and promises of Cameroon. We have been seeing many of them for being fulfilled, even that before crisis. Yes. And and this time that the Lord has been insisting on the forty, like never before, must the church be uh, alert. Yes. And and strategic in everything we are doing. I believe before this session finishes, sir, you, you need to uh, talk on the church again because now is the time for the church to, to step in. Mm. And yet many are still like nothing is happening. They just want to sit down and wake up with a new president and don't know where they are standing or whatever is going on. And that's dangerous. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, je m'excuse un peu, je vais revenir, je, je, je m'excuse de t'interrompre un peu mon frère, okay. mais je vais revenir sur, sur quelque chose qui a marqué mon esprit. Yes. De, lorsque uh, le prophète africain parlait, donnait son, son petit discours au sujet de, 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 de 40, il a parlé de la coupe. Mais ça a un peu intrigué, ça m'a intrigué dans l'esprit. Il dit la coupe d'iniquité et maintenant 2022, la coupe des nations. Mm. Coupe, mm. coupe. Ça veut mm. dire qu'il y a un lien, y a-t-il un lien entre eux? Coupe des nations et, et 40 ans parce que je ne comprends pas la Coupe des nations devait normalement se, se jouer en 2019. Mais il a fallu que ça vienne en 2022 et c'est 40 ans. Quel est le lien entre Coupe des nations et ces 40 ans dont nous parlons? Y a-t-il un lien? Yes, that's a very interesting question. Thank you, oui. Pastor Esther. Um, to understand the Cup, African Cup of Nations in Cameroon at this time, oui, oui. again. We need to look at numbers. Encore. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We need to look at the numbers. What number are we looking at? Is what is the uh, the number of this African Nations Cup? Is it the first African Nations Cup? Is it the twentieth African Nations Cup? Is it the thirtieth African C'est Nations Cup? It is the thirty third African Nations Cup. So that is where we draw the answer from to understand what it is mm-hmm. you see the world is not is not governed from the physical realm the world is controlled by some strong powerful unseen spiritual forces mm-hmm. higher intelligences are behind the occurrences on the earth realm mm-hmm. nothing just happens mm-hmm. and people who are connected to the spirit realm are the human altars that mm. engineer that open gates yeah, for, the for the spirit realms to invade mm. into physical realm right. so there are some spiritual beings that have carefully and strategically planned the events happening on earth mm. this is the 33rd yeah. Yeah. african nations cup. it was the 33rd thank you it was the 33rd african nations cup in cameroon why cameroon it was supposed to be in, ni- in uh, 2019. But if it came to Cameroon in 2019, it will be 38 years. Yes. Of His Excellency Paul Biya's reign. But if it comes in 2022, 
it will be the fourth year. So the 33rd cup is played in the fortieth year. So the cup is coming in in the fortieth year, like I said earlier. Yes. And now it is the 33rd cup. Why 33? Now, the number 33 has a numerical equivalent to the word Amen in numerology. The word Amen and the word the number 33 are equal. It's the same. 33 equals Amen. Amen. Okay. Yes. And see swat it. Let it let it be so. so. Uh -huh. You yeah. see. Yeah. And the first, like I said, the law of first mention. Exactly. The first time um, uh, 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 33, the number 33, okay? Yeah. The 33rd time you see the name Elohim in the Bible, the name of God the in of the God. Bible, yeah. okay? Appears 33 times in the story of creation. Okay. 33 times. Okay. The full creation, yes. the name Elohim, Elohim, times. Elohim, 33 times. Maybe. You see? Maybe. Now, the 33rd time you see the name of certain great men in, this, in scriptures, certain great people, their names are attached to the number 33. Mm. Yes. Mm. Especially great men that had impact and had covenants and had secrets and had connection with the spirit realm. Mm. I'll show you. Jacob. That's yes. Jacob. yes, it is. Now, the first time, the, uh, uh, the 33rd time, the name of Noah is mentioned. The 33rd time the name yeah. of Noah is mentioned yeah. is mentioned when God is making the covenant of a new earth with him. Okay. Replenish the earth, fill it, yeah. and then the covenant of the rainbow, rainbow is given to him. Yeah. The 33rd time that the name Noah appears in the scripture, wow. God is making a covenant with him. Yes. Lack de l'alliance. It's a covenant that is being made, that is being established mm. on the 33rd time. The 33rd time the name of Abraham is mentioned is when Isaac, his son, is being born. My God. Yes. It's when Isaac, his son, is being born. Mm. Then the 33rd time Jacob is mentioned is when he has the vision of heaven. When the vision of heaven is open and then he makes a covenant of sacrifice. Good. He's, he sees angels ascending. And now this is very important. It will make sense later. The 33rd time the name Jacob is mentioned, he's in a vision and he sees this ladder connecting heaven and earth. And then spirits are transacting spirits between the two realms. At, yeah between the two realms there's a connection between the two realms and the bible says a ladder yes. i dare believe by the visions of god that i've seen that the ladder which the angels were climbing and coming on had 33 rungs my god and i'll tell you why i think so 33 rungs to climb yes and then he made a covenant of sacrifice he even raised an altar and he did a libation he poured the oil now you understand why the chiefs came and did a libation at the olympic stadium on the open on the, 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 the third uh, uh, african nations cup yes so now they did a, 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 a he did a libation that's the first time libation was mentioned and then now later on in John chapter 1 verse 51 mm -hmm. Jesus said what would you say when you shall see the heavens open and the angels ascending and descending on, on the son of man he was indirectly re revealing that he is Jacob's ladder yes mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is the fulfillment of Jacob's vision because he is the connection. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody can get to the Father except to me. So he is Jacob's ladder. And, and he is the light of the world. The light. And he says, Celui qui me suit ne marchera pas dans les ténèbres, mais il aura la lumière de la vie. And lui était la, 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 la vie. Et cette vie était la lumière des hommes. Mm. Il dit, il est la vraie lumière. 
qui est clair tout le temps, qui entend le monde. So Jesus is the light. Alléluia. The one that illuminates people. Mm. D'où vient Illumina? Yes, Illumina. This program is called Illumina. Alléluia. To illuminate mm. people. And Jesus died at the age of 33. Oui, à 33 ans. The age of 33. Oui, oui. He called himself the son of David. And that is very strategic. The son of David. Pourquoi? The son of David. Because he took his physical body oui. from the house of David. David oui. And David was given an everlasting covenant oui, oui. that his seed will reign oui. on the throne of Israel forever. Oui, oui. But now you see, when David came to the throne, he reigned for seven years only over Judah. C'est vrai. Oui, oui. For seven years. Oui, oui over Judah. Oui, oui. So, part of Israel was not under his control. Oui, oui. Jerusalem, which was the headquarters, locate general, it was under the control of the Jebusites. Oui. It was after the seventh year, which is perfection, accomplishment, oui. rest, oui. that he now went and took the city of Jerusalem and moved his headquarters from Judah to Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And then that is when Israel became the united Israel. Yeah. Yes, it became the United Kingdom because they were first separate, all in the same territory. Are you, please, you are seeing Cameroon. You are seeing Cameroon. You are seeing Cameroon. So we had a part of Israel that was not under the jurisdiction of David for seven years. But now, when David went and possessed the land of the Jebusites, where the Jebusites were, 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 were you know had occupied Jerusalem. Jerusalem he took it and then he moved his headquarters there so you see that the headquarters moved you know there was a La time there was a time when the headquarters moved oui. from the southwest yes. you know oui, oui. to somewhere oui, oui. Are, are we together oui, oui. so it became the united kingdom of Israel oui. and then from the time it became united David reigned for 33 years oui. yes 33 plus 7 40. makes 40. Right. You see. So now, and you, you see, David, there's, there's what was called the Star of David, de David. Which is now on Israel's flag. And you have talked so much on that. A lot. The, so star, the star of David. And its numerical representation is 33. Huh. I don't have time to explain that on this episode. Wow. The numerical representation of the star of David is 33, oui, oui. which is composed of two triangles, one point pointing up and one pointing down. You see. Now we have on the negative side, supernatural, certain sacred societies, oui, oui. like the Illuminati. Oui. Illuminati. T. It's different from Illumina. It's different from Illumina. Yes. So the Illuminati is a is a is a, a secret society, a group, a fraternity of people who have their belief system, which I don't want to delve into. And I'm not judging them to be evil or to be good. I'm not validating them. Listen to me. I'm not validating them. But this is what I'm going to say. The true light is Jesus Christ. Is Jesus Christ. Anything apart from Jesus is is false. It's a false light. Hallelujah. So this fraternity that claims mm. to have light, mm. most of them rule the nations. Effectively. And it starts from the Freemason. The Freemasonry. The Freemasonry has different levels echelons oui, oui. but the 33rd degree mason is an illuminati okay. Okay. so so you see 33 yes when you graduate in, in we graduate in that freemason yes 33rd degree yes now in the illuminati. you are called so you an are illuminati. Illuminated, illuminated one, one. That according, according to them, according to them we say long to them. Them. Yes. you know but any light that is not of christ is a false light a false. yes this I that brings us to something very crucial still in this camp. Yes. Because these these uh, these guys they have they have different signs. 
Yes. Now we, we, we watch the, the, the African Cup of Nations or Nations Cup. We saw that, for example, one of our key players, yes. while in the match, while he <coughs> scored a goal, he did a sign that is famous around the world. He made his hand end. And that sign is connected to this fraternity. Yes, uh, exactly. I mean, and this, this player is celebrated by Cameroonians. Uh, mm. we, you, have, you have a message that you were, I mean, uh, you were breaking down some mysteries concerning the can in connection with the nation. And yes. you were talking about this player, his number, and so much about him in connection to the nation. Exactly. The nation's cup. What, exactly. What you have to say, what, how do you discuss this matter? You see, it's very serious. For uh, thank you, Prophet Wisdom. The, yeah. You see, the, the, the symbol of the Illuminati um, is on the one dollar bill I'm sure you yeah, like like see. you can see on the screen like you can see on the screen the symbol of the the Illuminati is on the one dollar bill which is a triangle yeah. with an eye that eye is called the eye of Horus really? the eye of Horus and it was put there by Roosevelt Roosevelt was the one who changed the one dollar bill to the way it is today really? so now this uh, sign of uh, the, the, the the triangle with the eye yeah. is the symbol of the Illuminati, and many people that this secret society has raised yes. and sponsored, yes. like in the movie industry, in the the in the, the music industry, in you, even in sports, you find that they always show allegiance to the fraternity. I love fraternity. Yes. Uh, you you see like we have other images on the screen right now you see artists gos uh, not gospel i mean uh music secular musicians secular musicians, secular, yeah. musicians, secular actors yeah, yeah. the putting up the sign you know showing their allegiance to the fraternity they belong to mm. you see mm. and these people are mm. so connected with the spirit realm a lot yeah. that most believers are they know in advance they plan some of these events mm. do you know that the 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 is it uh 9 11 that happened in the u.s Maybe. since 1985 1989 1987 1990 they mm. already knew yeah, that that thing was coming yes subtle yeah, music in music in movies in movies even the coronavirus in yeah, movies, in movies yeah. they yeah. knew yeah. it was coming, yeah. movies, they yeah. knew yeah. It was coming. Maybe. Nothing takes them by surprise. No, they listen. Because their fraternity is one, one message, one target, one vision. They control the world because they are one. Okay. There's power in unity. There's power in unity. There's power in unity. So, and most of the principles that are used in these secret societies are from the scripture. They take our same Bible oui. and take advantage of the principles God gave to the church and they work with them. The Papa, no. Nous, nous sommes là, nous bagarons contre nous. Entre nous. Et nous nous focalisons sur les prophéties. Les, et tout ça là. Les miracles, ta voiture, non, ceci. non, 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 non. C'est terrible. C'est terrible. We, we hate each other. Terrible. We fight each other. We are not one. Vicious we division. we vicious division, criticism. The only army that kills is wounded soldiers. Okay. Now let me come to that to that thing you were asking me about. Yes. Now that sign. Every time you see people yeah. that belong to that fraternity publicly, they would always identify with it because the Illuminati is the 33rd degree of the Freemason. Every Illuminati is a Freemason, but not every Freemason is an Illuminati. Okay, you must be in the 33rd degree. Why do they claim to, why do they call it the Illuminati? Jesus was the light of the world. He lived for 33 years. And the human spine has 33 vertebrae. Yes, 33. The last vertebrae is connected by the uh, the uh, how do you call this cord in the vertebrae the, the spinal cord the, spinal cord, yeah. the last vertebrae is connected through the spinal cord into the pineal gland mm. the pineal gland which yeah. is the center of perception oui, oui. Yeah, the center of light oui. mm. in Matthew 6 22 Jesus said 
that the light of the body is the eye not the eyes the eye one singular Mm. what was Jesus talking about he was talking about the gland of perception Mm. the vision the light so you see that eye which they call the eye of horrors is what is in the triangle and so they call themselves the illumina enlightened and they have 33 degrees the 33 vertebrates the 33 years of Christ Mm. you see that and let me just add this in somebody may benefit from this the spinal cord or the 33 vertebrates end up and they are connected to the 12 cranial uh, nerves the the, the 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 crane the crane that's the the skull yeah. the cranial nerves are 12. now you understand why jesus had 12 Those disciples, disciples. yes yes mm. he had 12 disciples so when i saw abubakar vincent and we will talk more about his name in the next episode okay. Okay, when i saw abubakar vincent lift up his hand like on the image we are seeing on the screen right now yes, when he lifted up his hand mm. and made that sign every time he scored the goal mm. and then this being the 33rd African Nations, Nations Cup, Cup. 33, the 40th, the 40th, yes, 33rd uh, African Nations Cup mm. in the 40th year. Mm. Then you see the sign. I knew something was going on behind the scenes. And yes. he's the key player, the key player, the one who opened the can with the goals. Yes, and the victories. And the victory so i think in the next episode we are going to enter into who is abubakar Abu benson and what does he represent and what is the message to all cameroonians at this time from the can serious for, for example the, the, the stampede there are things that happen within the can that are highly serious and we believe mm. you have so much to say on that yes we'll and talk on them on yes I we'll talk the on them I, I I hope you have been blessed. We know you have been blessed. Wherever you are, I want to pray for you right now. And our prayer for you is that anything that the enemy has programmed that is contrary to God's plan for your life, we cancel it right now. Amen. We stretch our hands towards you. Wherever you are, as we are stretching our hands towards you, mm. distance is not a hindrance. Yes. Every project of the enemy in the womb of time contrary to God's plan for your life be aborted be aborted be aborted in the name of Jesus we cancel every plan of death every project of accident every project of assassination in the name of Jesus we lose you we release you now in the name of Jesus to a libéré to a délivré de tout projet satanique dans les entrailles du temps nous avortons cela maintenant nous te déclarons béni, toi et ta famille béni et protégé dans le nom puissant de Jésus Christ de Nazareth. Amen. I am Reverend Dr. Samuel Leslie, the African prophet, and we will see you on the next episode of Illumina. Until then, remain in God's love and light. Shalom.